WellPoint is the nation's largest managed care company. And they're wildly profitable. Annual revenue, $61.3 billion. I'd like to know where the premiums that we pay are going. Everything around me is affected by my back pain. I had a herniated disc. I was treated conservatively with physical therapy and medications, and I didn't get any better. I um, found a surgeon, and he recommended the artificial disc replacement. And they came back and said, sorry, it's no good because it's experimental and investigational. And this is despite the fact that it was FDA approved. It was, uh, you know, disheartening to have to take benefits away. I felt very bad about it. I mean, it seemed like almost like a failure on our part. Plans got more and more expensive, and we had fewer and fewer benefits. And it got to a point where some of them went on with their spouses, and some just don't have any coverage at all at this point. Now insurance giant Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield wants to hike its rates. The rate increase would be an average of 18% for their health choice. Anthem requested that the state guarantee that they make 3% profit off of just 12,000 people. The state said no, and Anthem decided to sue the state over that decision. Anthem is wholly owned by WellPoint. I don't know how much Anthem is shelling out, but, you know, lots of money is being spent in legal fees, which is obviously money that is not going to provide benefits to uh, policyholders. It's just crazy to me that people who are supposed to be providing health care are in fact only taking care of a few select people, and it has nothing to do with health. It has all to do with profit. I woke up with severe back pain one day. For me, it's just a, like a knife in my glutes and my hamstrings. Even with the medications, I can't like get away from it. It was my doctor's decision that I should get the surgery. But the insurance company came right in between my doctor and me and said no. We don't make very much more than any of our employees. In fact, sometimes we make less than mm -hmm. our employees because our first priority is to make sure that the payroll goes to the employees. Part of their lawsuit is crying hardship that in a recession they need more money too. Um, that's clearly not true. They exceed every possible measure of financial health for a company and so really the only justification for this lawsuit is just pure greed. They have the audacity to go after the taxpayers of Maine who are all struggling so that they can make a guaranteed 3% Profit just seems absurd. I'd like to know where the premiums that we pay are going. Well, it also seems pretty ridiculous. I don't think that anybody is worth $9 million a year. Mm -hmm. They spend nearly $10 million a year in lobbying fees. So this is $10 million of premiums that have been overcharged to members and patients across the country, using that money to hire lobbyists so that WellPoint can pass laws that's bad for its members. It certainly raises the question of bribery, whether those dollars are buying votes. When you get a letter from your insurance companies, there's always going to be a list of excuses. Here's why we're raising your rates. Oh, the cost of health care is going up, prescription drugs, et cetera, et cetera. What they don't list is we need to make more profits because Wall Street expects us to. Uh, Angela Braley needs a new Cadillac, and we're going to raise rates for that. And frankly, we need to raise uh, money to spend on lobbying campaigns to uh, lock you into health care debt for the rest of your life. We're supposed to be taking care of people, and it's not what we're doing now. We're just taking care of the people that operate the insurance companies. They care about their shareholders and not the American public. Incredible power of the insurance lobby. They are, after all, driven by profits. They're spending zillions of dollars right now on lobbying. It's really a down payment for the vote that the insurance companies want.